What's up, everybody? My name is Lisa, for those of you that don't know. I'm just going to do a quick energy reading here for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flames, Soulmates, whatever. The energy's been pretty intense, all right? First off, I want to apologize because my internet has been off and on since Thursday. Um, they were here today putting in a new modem, and then the internet went down again, so... I don't know. I've gotten very behind, but um, with all my readings and, you know, when the, re the internet's been up, I've been doing my personal readings, so, because those are priority, but I just wanted to come on and do this collective reading because I can feel you guys, and I need you too, as much as you need me, so let's just see what's going on here. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, connection, connection in between. All right, give me, ooh. Divine Feminine, feeling balanced. Two of Cups. Yeah, and Queen of Cups. Yeah, really in her emotions, feeling the love. I feel like being nurturing to herself. Being brave. I'm hearing the word triumphantly. Okay, give me one card for Divine Masculine. King of Swords. Also being, um, he's very decisive. I mean, look at this guy. He's like ready to stake his claim in, look. I'm hearing walks with purpose. I feel like he's um, either about to send out a message or he just received a message. You see this um, bird on his shoulder here? That might even be a sign for some of you. I feel like Divine Masculine is really trusting his intuition at this time. And I feel like he's, yeah, affirmative. I just heard affirmative. <laughs> so um, maybe some of you are... Um, I don't know, I feel like pilots or something. I just heard a firm up. So um, maybe like in the military or something, whoever says affirmative as a response, I feel like it's a response. Um, it's connected to somebody at work. Okay, anyway. Um, Two of Wands just came out. I'm going to put it back in because I didn't ask anything. But I was the next question was for the connection. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Wands. I feel like both are thinking about rushing in or wanting to rush in or thinking about what they want to rush towards exactly. Each other, each other, each other. All right, give me one card for the connection. Yeah, the artist. This is like, this is a card unique to this deck, and it's all about creating. Kind of like the magician. Yeah, they're both thinking about each other, remembering the good times, the bad times, just reflect, reflecting, wanting to reconcile. That Six of Cups is, I mean, yeah, see, and wanting to move on from conflict. All right, but they're both still a little stuck here, all right? But this is the Eight of Swords, all right? And then we have the Emperor, and then it goes to the Ten of Cups. It's like both have to um, take charge here, okay? Because I feel like both of them are kind of um, showing a face like, like they're okay. And not that they're not okay, but... Um, I don't feel like they're communicating with each other, but if you saw on, you know, if you're, obviously you guys are like looking at each other on social media and stuff, you would think that everything is fine. Yeah. I'm not missing you at all. Um, what's, what song is that? I ain't missing you. I don't know. All right. Tell me, um, 
I can just hear, they, they're showing me Brian Adams, but I don't know if that's a, I ain't missing you. I just hear a guy's voice. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. But both of them are missing each other, like, really bad. That's the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, wanting to reunite, but pretending to look like they're having fun. All right, tell me more about the Divine Feminine, please. Yeah, holding back. Okay. Hiding our emotions. Feeling emotional. Trying to balance them out. Um, working on our stability. Yeah, see? Four of Wands, stability. Again, with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups came was the, at the bottom of the deck when the Two of Cups came out. I really feel like Divine Feminine is really tapping into um, that feminine side of herself, just allowing herself to be emotional, but not to be unbalanced in her emotions. It, you know what I mean? Like, just, um, okay, acknowledging, hey, you know what? Like, my heart is breaking, but I can't just sit in bed all day and cry. I got to focus on my future. Okay. I, I need to, um, it's like there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's shit that needs to be done. So I feel like divine feminines are putting on their big girl panties and getting shit done. Acknowledging, like not denying. Yeah. I just started hearing how deep is your love? <laughs> the Bee Gees. So not denying that they're feeling all this emotion for their masculine. Okay. Um, yeah, I just heard it's for some of you, it's driving you crazy that your masculine hasn't, um, reached out or expressed himself yet. And it's almost like, like you're holding back. Okay. Cause the four of pentacles is all about holding back as well. You're holding back because it's like, um, maybe you feel like you've, you've already said everything that you could possibly say. Okay. So, um, but I do feel like divine feminine, you're really, um, I mean, look at this, this queen of cups, you know, you're holding back your cup, holding back. Okay. I feel like there's divine feminines that maybe you don't want to reach out. Okay. You don't want to reach out, not because you don't want to reach out, but it's just like, like I said before, like, you know, that you've already said everything that you could possibly say. I feel a lot of divine feminines are really doubting their divine masculine right now and their love. And th this is not the time for that. Okay. I just want you to know that I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what it looks like. This is the time for you to tap into your heart. And if you divine feminine can honestly tap into your heart and know that your divine masculine isn't feeling you, then, then like, let it go. But this isn't the time to doubt what you already know, what you feel. Okay. You see how this, this queen of cups, you know, She's filled with love and she's nurturing and she's very psychic, all right? But her 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 cup is still closed. Okay, she's holding it close to her like she's scared. And I get it. Many of these connections, I mean, you guys have hurt each other or it's been very one-sided, okay? There's there's reason for the fear, but we're like getting down to the nitty-gritty. At least for those of you that are are there's 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 people um, where this is the beginning, the beginning stages of bringing this connection together, but it's, it's not going to be easy. Okay. Not that any part of it has been easy. All right. But the closer and closer that union comes, it's like, it demands more strength from within. Okay. And, um, and then there's the whole catch of, making sure that you're doing it for yourself and not for the reward of being, um, with your counterpart. Because as twin flames, our primary purpose is to 
help heal the planet. Okay. And how do we do that? By love. And that love first has to start with, other, with ourselves. So it's exhausting. I know there's still so much more work to be done, but it's all worth it. Why? Because you, you, you gain your self-respect. Why? Because you gain, um, yeah, look, see, talking about, you become your own king of, king of pentacles. Nobody is, is here to save you. You were made to save yourself. Everything that you need to heal your heart is already within you. You know, when, when, when I'm talking and you resonate with me because it's like, there's something in you, like we're, yes, we're all connected, but it's like, it feels, it feels right because you already know inside you, all I'm doing is helping you remember what you already know or confirming what you already know. All right. Tell me about the divine masculine here. Yeah. See, look, the six of pentacles and the six of cups. He's wanting to look, he's totally stressed out. All right. Um, I feel like he's doing a lot of daydreaming, um, fantasizing, but see, look, this is him like ready to stake his claim. Like he knows He knows his divine feminine, who, who she is. He, he knows that, um, I, this is him like putting his foot down with everything in his life, everywhere where people haven't been, um, where he's let people, other people kind of control him. He's, he's seeing that for what it is. Okay, but he, he's also moving towards balancing himself. Some of some of them are already in this balanced mode as well. Like he's he's looking stoned cold because both of them are kind of faking it with each other here. Okay, not letting the other one know that they're feeling as deeply as they are for the other one, even though you both recognize each other as your counterparts. Okay. But it's just the way that it has to be right now because it's just so intense, okay? The emotions are just so intense. A lot has gone down, okay? It's, it takes a lot. Like, remember that Queen of Cups, you know? She's, like, kind of side-eyeing, you know, and holding her cup back. It's like, okay, you can feel that the moment is coming, okay? But if, if it's really coming and knowing that this is what you want, like it's like this full moon, it's like bringing up all that nitty gritty stuff. Like I mentioned before in one of the other readings, it's like, but it's bringing it up for both of you. It's like, okay, are we really going to do this? Are we, because it's like, this is, this is it. This is like freaking, you know, going out like guns blazing. Like, like if we're going to do this, we're going to fucking do this. And that means like standing up to everything that's been holding you both back from each other, all the blocks, all your insecurities, all the people around you. It's like facing all those fears. And it's like, it's just going to keep happening. You know what I mean? Until, until you actually speak with each other. But this is what you were born for. And I feel like there's a recognition of both of this, of this between both here. Okay. This is why this, the, the balance here is here between both of you with the two of cups, with the divine feminine and the six is over here. Tell me about this connection. You're both, this is kind of like the magician, you know, like trying to, you, you both are aware of your powers. Okay. As the divine masculine, as the divine feminine. Okay. But what you're also aware is that when you come together of how much more powerful you will be because you will be okay but because of that power it's like that's why there's all these blocks it's not going to be easy to get there get to together okay 
but it's like where because a while back you know the divine masculine woke up to his power okay but he was kind of using his power just for um his own purposes okay selfish desires all right but he knows that he's magical all right but now he knows that he's magical and that he's not supposed to be you know and what he's supposed to be using his magic for for the betterment of humanity is what i just heard that's what they just told me okay so now he has this understanding okay but it's actually um you know really stepping into being that person full on of the person that whose feet actually match their their words before that, you know, it's not that he wasn't a good person, you know, not that you weren't a good person to buy a masculine. It's just that, you know, like you didn't really see just how detrimental your behavior was at times in certain situations, but now you see, okay. And so now it's like the choice. Do I choose to, um, see and change my behavior or do I want to see and still just pretend I'm blind? this is this is what he's deciding he's coming towards the divine feminine it's it's ooh, that was just the page of pentacles and that's a new beginning okay both of you may be working on your own businesses or learning something new starting school or starting new businesses there's a big focus on finance with both of you yeah there's that same blind card okay but um this is what the burden is 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 acting like you don't know you're both pretending like you don't feel what you feel like it's like you're both holding back your emotions this is what this is what, um, there's a conversation that needs to be had and you both know this and are accepting of this. And now it's just about who's going to make the first move. Yeah. See, here's the burden here. Yeah. Cause this is what's on your, got my money on my mind, my mind on my money. Okay. For the future, you know, seeing the family life, that's the legacy card. It goes from the page to, I mean, whatever you guys are working on. Yeah. Look at this. I have a feeling it's going to really take off very soon, okay? But um, they said, for some of you, within the next 10 days, and then they said something is going to happen in November, or by the time November comes, that's like when you're going to be here. It may not mean like you're going to be like a millionaire or anything by that time, but that by, by that time, it's going to be equal give and take, and um, you'll be living in a family situation and, you know, that kind of stuff possibly married for some of you. Cool. All right, give me one card for the Divine Feminine, please. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah, she's ready. See, and see children. Tell you, children have played a big factor in um, the reading here. Um, well, in my Twin Flame readings for a while. For whatever reason, whether you guys want to have kids or both of you have kids or there's baby mom or baby daddy drama or whatever it is, you, you want to have kids, but you see how she's turned away? It's that same energy. Work on your partnership. Divine Feminine wants to work on the partnership. You know, but she's scared, but I really honestly feel that all it's going to take is the admission from the Divine Masculine that he wants to work on it too. And that's it. And I feel like all her fear will ease. All right, give me one card for a divine masculine. Yeah, he's heartbroken over here. Wow, see? There's my S card. All right, that's my card a few years ago. The man that I was in love with, he passed away. The soulmate card disappeared from this, this deck. And this deck also happen to come with two stay optimistic about your love life cards which is wild in itself okay being that he passed away you know 
So it's like definitely a sign to tell me to stay optimistic. All right. But when this card shows its face, it's like, this is my ultimate of ultimate twin flame cards. Okay. So I would like to see, it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I feel like the divine masculine is about to, this is what I mean. He's, he's going to stake his claim. He's going to just say, you know, he's made up his mind. Nobody fucks with the King of Swords. The King of Swords knows, knows the truth. He's about to deliver his truth. He can't live. It's breaking his heart to not be expressive of the way that he truly feels. All right. Give me one card for the connection. Look, you're both calling each other in and this could be the one. And you both know it. Look, heart to heart conversations. Look, this card it says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And that's what needs to be done. It's like, I feel like when I feel like even if the divine feminine has expressed herself fully, it's like the divine masculine didn't take her seriously at the time. OK, and this and now he's taking shit serious, like now he's understanding. OK. And that's what needs to be discussed. It needs to be seriously put down on the, on the, on the, out on the table. No fear, nothing. Just like, this is what I feel. So divine feminines, when he steps forward, don't hold your cup back. Okay. Don't, don't hold your cup back. You don't want to hold your cup back. Okay. This card, the fates, it just keep kept popping out while I was shuffling so let's see. Give me one more card here for the connection. Here and now. So this is how we're going to get through this, okay? Because I'm telling you, it's going to get a little bit um, hairy here until the actual conversation happens. And I feel like that's because um, so many emotions are being stirred up. Like, yeah, here, I'm hearing a song. Uh, feels like the first time, okay? It's like... You guys, when you see each other again, when you talk to each other again, after everything that's gone down and because you both have matured and grown while in separation and separation may continue for a little while longer for some of you. Okay. They said earlier something about 10 days, right? So, um, here and now be in the here and now enjoy your here and now do what's best for you now. Okay. Um, continue to put on your big girl, big boy pants and do what's in front of you to do and live your life. Okay. You guys will be having a conversation. Okay. Look, see, stay optimistic about your love life. And then here's my card for between now and two months. This is my card when it comes out in my personal readings, um, where it is the face to face contact communication with um, your counterpart. So it was down a couple of cards. So, There you go. All right. The conversation is going to happen first. So maybe it comes like you talk on the phone and then you'll be able to see each other. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, see, make the effort. You're both going to be making the effort to get to know each other because you have to, because you both are completely different now. You both, it's like your divine masculine seeing you for the first time and divine feminine, you, you have never seeing your divine masculine, how he is now, because just like you've grown, he's grown as well. So this is a really beautiful reading and I hope that it helps. And, um, I will, uh, be catching up a lot on the rest of my monthlies and, um, cause my internet is back <laughs> and, um, I love you guys. And if you're interested in a personal reading, just Look in the description box and that's how you can get in touch with me. I love you.